Notice that the functional equation f of x plus y equals f of x times f of y would be satisfied by exponential functions. Can you see why that is? So 2 to the x plus y is 2 to the x times 2 to the y, isn't it? So 2 to the y is satisfied by that functional equation. You can see because that's the rule, basically the rule of exponents, isn't it? Agree? Another one f of x plus y plus f of x minus y equals 2 times f of x plus f of y. Now, I don't think it's at all obvious, but, but all quadratic equations work with this one. Okay, so to just take x squared. So if f of x equals x squared, then f of x plus y would be x plus y squared, and then f of x minus y would be x minus y squared. Square it out, add the two, and you'll see you get double the sum of x, you know, x, x squared plus y squared. So that works. Although it's not, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen that personally. Um, but uh, if, you're, if you're pretty good with these, kind of experience of doing functional equations, maybe you, you learn a few things that uh, that lead you to the right answer. Okay. So that, those are functional equations, and they do come up not every year, but uh, certainly with regularity. Okay. Final thoughts from my side. Diagrams, you'll know, you'll just see six questions on one side of the paper, and you'll be going, is this all it is? And, uh, it looks simple, uh, and uh, but it relies the difficulty of the questions. Okay, and you don't get diagrams. If if there's a sort of a geometry problem, you be it'll be verbalized and you'll be expected to redraw it. So you are allowed to have compasses. So you you'd be expected, and if you need to draw a square or, a, or an equilateral triangle as part of the problem, the best thing is not to do a nasty little sketch. Do a nice, accurate sketch um, so that you can see what's going on. All right, so I suggest you need to go back to the old-fashioned stuff, get a math set, and be able to construct isosceles triangles, right angles, equilateral triangles, draw circles, draw Circumscribe circles, draw inscribe circles, all right? Those things tend not to be drawn for you, all right? So part of the Olympiad skill is to take the verbalized problem and draw it, okay? You're not often expected to do that in school maths. If there's terminology on the paper that you don't understand, so let's suppose you got to your Olympiad and you didn't know what a median was, because you'd never learned that. You'd be able to ask the invigilator to say, what's a median? And hopefully the invigilator will tell you. Or if the invigilator doesn't know, he can phone up the South African Maths Foundation and say, the student wants to know this, can I tell him? Right? But you are allowed to ask those kinds of questions. You can't ask how to do a problem, clearly. Uh, but you can ask for explanation. If it's, if it's terminology you just don't understand, okay, that's that's allowed. If it's not part of the understanding of the problem, it's not testing knowledge. It's testing your your uh, hopefully your, your mathematical skill. All right. So please don't be shy. If, uh, if you don't understand something, ask the question. As I look at Olympiad third round papers. I would say I can have a good stab at the first two, certainly maybe the, maybe the third one. All right, and that's on the basis of my my general mathematical knowledge without special training. Okay, so if you want to be able to tackle all the problems on a paper, and they do get incredibly difficult, um, then you do need to go for special training. All right, so this is the start of that. And uh, you might be lucky enough to be invited to the, uh, the Stellenbosch training camp. Who's been on one of those? Okay, useful? Very useful. All right, it would be nice if more people were invited. Um, but uh, um, be that as it may, they teach you these kind of results and things that you wouldn't normally be exposed to. Right, but you can, there, are, there are also many publications of the South African Maths Foundation and uh, please ask a teacher and they can uh, point you in the right direction to some of those things. Okay. A huge feature of Olympiads, as I mentioned earlier, is the ability to prove something.
something. And I believe that that is the biggest flaw, well it's not a flaw, but it's the biggest gap between normal school education and uh, the knowledge or the skills required in the Olympia. You'll see you have to prove things all over the place. And I think that uh, many of you will not be equipped really to go into Olympia and, and prove. There is a session on proof later. One of the sessions is, is dedicated to that, but really an hour of it is not going to is not going to be enough. Um, but certainly, I just point that out. That, that is something that uh, you're going to be faced with, and uh, can be quite uh, quite can be quite challenging. Um, something like proof that there's no largest prime number. Who, who's seen that proof? Who, who would know how to do that? Prove that there's no largest prime number. Just the one person who's been on the camp. Um, so something like that. Prove that there's no largest integer. Prove that there's no smallest rational number. These are all really easy proofs when you see them, uh, but if you're not exposed to that kind of thing, um, it would be difficult for you in a, in a little bit of context. Okay, so there is a session on proof, and I hope that you come to that session and, and benefit from it. And finally, good luck, and I hope you all get through first into the third round, and uh, that when you do, you, you really make a good job of it. Okay, so that's it for me. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask on anything that uh, I've, uh, I've spoken about? And I will attempt to answer them. No? Are you all sort of... Have you learned something? Have you learned a few little things? Yeah? I mean, that, that might be of some value. I hope, I hope you have. All right, so what we're going to do, have a two-minute break now. Just, just stretch your legs, and then it'll be over to Liam. He's going to uh, chat to you about the International Math Olympiad and hopefully show you a few problems. And uh, I hope that's a more benefit. Right, well, thanks for listening anyway.